Coronavirus crisis is causing many in our area to consider personal protection. NBC6's Jenna Jordan shares more on the increased demand for guns. DAVTAC custom arms and ammo still open for business during the stay at home order. Our instinct, whenever something, some, some kind of scary situation is happening, our instinct is to be able to defend ourselves. The government mandating businesses to close due to COVID 19 drove dozens of people into a self defense mode. It's not to say that uh, anyone feels like there's going to be chaos on the streets or anything like that, um, but they just felt like in that situation, some of our rights that we had every day were being taken away. The shop slowly replenishing its supply of handguns, the top seller for personal protection. The influx of people we, we got here, it wasn't our normal people who were here every day. It was new people. It was people who have never owned a firearm before, people who weren't sure what caliber firearm to buy or even what they were. But keeping self-defense in mind. I've never been in a situation where I would have to actually um, shoot another human being, thank goodness, and I hope I would never be in that situation, but if I was, I'd like to be prepared to protect myself and my family. Kara Permitter agrees. The pandemic motivating her to sharpen skills. I'm not so much scared of the virus as I am of people who um, may overreact or panic. It does bring peace of mind. Red River Range also letting people pursue their Second Amendment rights. In times of crisis or you know, civil unrest or I guess just concern, the amount of people that came in to purchase a firearm at the outset was, we sold out of guns. Those taking aim coming from all walks of life. Young, old, black, white, man, woman, every single demographic is represented in our client base. Most walking away first time gun owners. The amount of ladies that came in and the comment was, I've never held a firearm before, but I need one now. That was that was a scary thought. You can't always put your protection in the hands of other people. You have to be able to protect yourself. Jenna Jordan, NBC6 News. Both businesses say they are operating under limited hours using social distancing and sanitizing regularly.